Hello, welcome to Soul Things. My name is Jonathan, and today is part two in our little four part series where we have four branded sacks from Boom. We're just taking a quick look between all four, um, and then you guys can make a decision uh, which one was best um, and what you think of the overall qualities. Um, <clears throat> so, this is sack number two. Sack number two starts off with a Columbia fleece. 20, 25 quid. A Barber International, is it an international? Might not be. It's a fleece line quilted jobby, which I nearly just ripped. Uh, UK 14, it's always women's 14. Um, there's no, no label with a name on it. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe it's on the inside pocket. No, oh, it's okay. Barber Cavalry Polar Quilt. Uh, these are 25 30 quid jobs. It's actually quite clean. Huh. Nice tweed, guessing it's Harris. Is it Edinburgh Wool Mill as the previous ones? Oh, it's an old St. Michael's. 90s St. Michael's, no, 1988. So this is 1988 St. Michael's Harris tweed. That's a 40, 50 quid job. Old orange tab, eight nine ones, 30 30s, button up tapered, made in Tunisia, could be 90s, they have that kind of mum fit look to them, um, need to do a bit of research but probably 20, 25 quid, uh, 511, um, look really clean actually, uh, 34, 34s, 20, 25, barber corduroys, now the last pair of barber corduroys we had actually sold for um, 30 quid. So easy 30 quid straight off there. Probably underselling them to be honest, but CLV gets red. Columbia pullover fleece with a little pink trim. Kind of obviously getting to end of season, but kind of and kind of not, right? We're actually sold a few fleeces lately, especially the animal print ones. They've seemed to start moving for some reason. Uh, Reebok running shorts, size large, nice little graphic down the side, 15 job. Cotton, I don't feel like cotton, this cotton blend. <clears throat> um, like jersey style uh, champion shorts, interesting. This is cool, LL Bean. So these LL Bean fleeces with the funky patterns they sell for 25, 30 quid at least during winter. So we'll keep it at that. We have a Vintage Reebok Athletic. Screams 90s down at the park. Big spell out on the front. Um, it's old, it's yellow, so it's a little discolored, but it might be able to clean that up. Uh, Nike Tech Fleece in purple, women's one. Ugh, don't fall off, you bastards. So the purpose of these videos is one, to help you decide whether it's something you want to buy, two, to show you what I have and what I might potentially sell it for, and then three, if I get something unique um, that's interesting, I'll probably go into some detail about it. Double XL um, Ralphie jumper, 2025. Uh, modern, literally modern, like basically brand new Adidas. Oh, we've got some more jeans apparently. 521s, last pair of these sold for 25 quid, high rise skinny. Um, and then diesel? Diesel Ryoth, 32, 32. Low waist, as you can definitely tell. Um, does it say what they are? No, it doesn't. They don't actually specify what their fit is. Are oh, they made in Italy? Nope, they're made in Morocco. Does it say anything else? 100% cotton. Ryoff from 2006. Nearly vintage. Big wide leg. Styles are quite weird at the minute. Men are going for a lot of like athletic straight. Women um, are going for uh, that kind of like 90s, late 90s, Christina Aguilera, low waist flare boot cut job. That seems to be what's selling at the minute. 
I don't know what the fashion people are saying, but that's what people are buying. Uh, an old Diodora ski coat type thing. Um, not sure that'd be worth like 25, 30 quid. Uh, YSL, double XL, round neck, like cotton jumper. You guys told me off for of selling them too low last time. I sold them for like 40, 50 quid. You guys like it's a hundred quid. <clears throat> so whoever bought it just bought them to sell them probably, but fair play. Um, Brooklyn Lee, 20 quid. Uh, Carhartt, Carhartt crew neck, really nicely faded. I don't know if they make the stuff to fade on purpose, but it does fade really nice. Um, 25. Michael Kors, the brand that has no resale value. Uh, it's a big fucking coat. Like a, it's a big Parker essentially. Um, yeah, just a big Parker. I don't know what um, that's going to be worth. They, they, they cost hundreds new. It's probably only like 40 quid resale. Um, <sighs> Scoffler. Gore-Tex, so Scoffler make a lot of ski stuff, a lot of outdoor stuff. Popular big Euro brand, I think it's Swiss maybe, or um, Finnish, something like that. Um, really heavy coat, that's 80 or 100 quid. Kappa Poppers, um, 20, 25 quid. The red, so maybe a bit more. Uh, Nike, size large, cotton, joggers. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Not really a major, like, awesome piece. The scoff was probably the best bit, I think. Women's size six, crew neck, Adidas, Nike extra small hoodie. So they're like, what, both 20 quids jobs. Maybe a bit more. This could be a bit of money. Muhammad Ali Adidas, originals. So black tag, so we're looking at what? 2004 to 2010-ish, 2006. Um, <clears throat> Muhammad Ali, subtle black print. That could be worth a few bob. We need to Google that. That could be a big piece that's just uh, like sleeping in there. Uh, Nike dry fit shorts, usual shit. Um, oh, we've got two Lacostes. So we've got Lacoste. Uh, polo and then another Lacoste polo. I actually got a Lacoste polo off Whatnot. Uh, fantastic seller on there, Atomic Girl. Go give her a follow. She's more entertaining. Like you could just sit there and watch her show and just be entertained. Um, but she does sell some really nice stuff. Uh, she had an idea what it was. She'd obviously seen it was a collab and had a bit of a Google. Um, but basically, one of the originators of manga. Uh, and Anime um, did a collab in 2013 with Lacoste and he did three pieces, an Astro Boy one uh, was the Black Path and the Men From Down Under or the Men From the Underground um, and he had three polo sweatshirts with graphics from the manga pages on it um, and I got it for like 10 quid. The resale on it is 100 to 150. Um, I actually ended up tipping her an extra five quid um, on top of what I paid because I know it was worth more than what I'd paid essentially I, worth a lot more than what I paid she had a resale of 50 quid I knew it was going to be a bit higher um, the only one that I'd sold was the Astro Boy one uh, and that sold for 180 there's somebody else with um, the Black Path one up for 150 in America so I put it up at 150 if it sells for 100 quid I want to give her another tip of like 20 or quid um, just to kind of bring it up because I don't know how much she paid for it, but she definitely needs to be paid more than what I paid. Uh, but Kappa t-shirt. That's one of the weird things I want. I feel bad when I get stuff too cheap from people on there. <laughs> but that's just me being soft. 1998. Um, single stitch. Tasmanian Devil Warner Brothers tee. That's cool. That's 30, 40 quid. Polo, 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 polo. And last but not least, a Disney World modern looking, um, yeah, embroidered tee, whatever that is. So yeah, that was the second sack. 
not bad, right? If I got that sack, I would be happy, but there is no particular outstanding, you know, mega piece. In that last sack, we got Stone Island, Bape, Barber, um, North Face, something else that was good. Um, in this sack, we got stuff. Good stuff. You'd make money. You'd make loads of money. This is probably the least profitable sack I've had in a long time, though. I mean, it's definitely profit, right? Don't get me wrong. A lot of profit in there. You're going to make money. But I suppose the way I describe this to people is like opening these sacks is like Christmas. You're looking to see if you get a cool present. Lots of stuff for Christmas, but there was nothing that kind of just like screamed. It's not a problem. Like, it's not a big problem. But I can understand if you receive one of these sacks and then you watch a video where I get the previous sack, you're going, oh, it's cherry picked. It's just how it is, all right? It's how it is. But that's that video. Um, if you want to see the Astro Boy t-shirt, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here. I'll hang the um, uh, Lacoste up there so you can see it in the next video, which I'll be filming in a second. But uh, that'll be tomorrow for you. So I'll catch you later.